Good afternoon, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. We're taking a look at the John Hopkins map of the USA with the current pandemic. Oh my goodness, folks. Um, we had Memorial Day go through. States began to unlock cities. And now what we're looking at here is a map of the USA county by county of the infections. The upper northeast has begun to stabilize. We, we knew that from about Mar about June. But as the summer progressed, heat caused people to go back indoors, making it very difficult to social distance. And a lot of people just weren't taking the recommendation of the CDC to stay away from each other, wear face masks. Florida is almost red completely. The south southwest is completely red now. Confirmed cases, folks. Uh, we're going to switch over to deaths, and you can see that that western, southwestern United States, uh, bordering California or end of California, is quite saturated with, unfortunately, deaths. The fatality rate is spread out pretty evenly. Breadbasket, Rust Belt, but look at Florida. It hasn't really gotten crazy down there yet, but the populated areas of, this is hard to even look at. We'll go back by the, um, it's pretty tough to sit up here in New England and look southwest and see that if this is July now I don't know if you looked at any of my earlier videos but this was my greatest fear was it, this thing is a rolling thunder across the country state by state county by county and if this is just the first wave people go well this is the second one no this is just the first wave of it going across America the shutdown in my opinion was had mixed results people got locked in they use their credit cards a lot of people are employed because of this shutdown the government threw trillions of dollars at it with no real results to be noted as far as that goes well that's a whole nother rabbit hole uh, the end of this month, the 600 plus your regular unemployment benefit. Well, right now it's going to go away. There are there is rumor that when the Congress gets back from their vacation, I can't believe they're actually. I, 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 my first opinion is to start kicking out elected officials. First of all, why would you be on vacation during a freaking pandemic? You stay in your job. I'm going to put my blood pressure any higher than what it already is. But, folks, listen, I, as a individual who sees we are all human and we do make mistakes, this baby boomer broom and the cleansing that's going on right now because people didn't take the advice that, you know, who, grandma's gone, grandpa's gone. Old Aunt B's gone. Old Uncle Bob's gone. All because you didn't think to stay at home after the, the, the states were opening up. And you had to go out and sit in a bar and get infected. Not knowing it, that you got it. And went home and gave it to your loved ones. And imagine, just the other day, the news reported, you know, you're in a bed in a hospital your loved ones can't see you. Now, I've been saying this for 30 years that technology 
should be brought into the hospital where when you go into a room, the whole wall lights up with all your stuff, digital stuff. At great expense, of course, but that's just me. I don't want to stress on it anymore, folks. Wear those masks. Stay the hell away from each other. If you've got an elderly relative, stay away from them. If they need food, bring food to them. And bring the family closer together by staying apart. I can't say it anymore. Bring the family together by staying apart. But don't abandon them. If you know an, old, if you know an elderly person who's shut in now or going to be shut in again, reach out for them. Hey, put a love note in their mailbox. If you need anything, just let me know. Use your email address or however you do it. Now, the, I did a questions poll about people not knowing that the air gas or the gaseous industry uh, gaseous oxygen gaseous co2 that those facilities because of the original shutdown cut back on production and now with these hospitals hooking up more people to, vent to ventilators the oxygen supply that a hospital has is not that great there those each room has an oxygen outlet but when you start taxing that system it could be detrimental to the health of the folks needing that oxygen right then and there because the oxygen comes to the hospitals in liquid form they're pumped into a machine that turns the gas the liquid into a gas and unfortunately with the output that's required in some of these hospitals because of that neat over need of oxygen the machine freezes up you can't turn that liquid into a gas fast enough. But for now, let's go over here and look at this. There are, see, now we, we've been looking at this for weeks to weeks to weeks. And it, now we have to remember we're not Europe, okay? This is a big country with a lot of people and everybody's got their own opinion. For right now, we've lost that cohesion to stay away from each other. This is going to get much worse, folks. So I, I ask you to just do two things. Tell your loved ones to stay away if you're elderly. If you're any one of the Americans right now who have underlying medical conditions, diabetes, high blood pressure, you're a chronic smoker, you're overweight, and you've got people all over you, all around you, push them away. Have those, no, on your front door, print by hand, I love you very much, but stay away. Bring food, but stay away. I'll see you on the other side. Social media, these devices I'm using right now, you can see your loved ones if you don't have a phone. One of you guys out there has got an extra one, activate it and give it to them. Teach them how to use it if you're able to. Remember, social distancing will stop this whole thing in its tracks. It just takes about a month for everybody to stay away. Unfortunately, the lockdown, again, was too abrupt. It didn't need it in certain areas, and it needed it in other areas. And now, as you can see from this chart, or this map, I'm sorry, this map, there's a serious, serious problem. Now, I'm not going to go into politics and that kind of crap, because this is past all that. Mistakes have been made. Now, I don't know what to tell you, folks, but if you're sick right now, and you're afraid to go to the hospital, don't worry. Go to the hospital. I stay away from them, but because that's what sick people are, but that's just me. All you can do now is sit back and wait for the time. All we need is time.